an example of a two-handed forehand. Here's a young, very talented player, very first day, age six. Extreme grip, laid back swing, racket goes too far back. But we wanted him to utilize hitting two-handed. By hitting two-handed, he can keep the racket higher longer, keep the racket on the same side of his body. He can use closer to a conventional grip. And once again, it's an example of how we document development, filming from different angles. So next what we're going to do is we're going to show you him hitting a two-handed forehand. When you have players switch hands and use a two-handed forehand, keep in mind it's only a progressive step. And you want to let young players know that. So let's watch another forehand and one more, and then we'll look at the young player hitting two-handed. Okay, now look at the organized ready position. So now he's not going to have a delayed backswing. But let's let, let it run and watch his two-handed forehand. It's a much cleaner, more efficient swing. There's less moving parts. And certainly it's a strength issue for a young player at this age to play one-handed. From the very beginning, when we have a player hit two-handed, we still have them hit one-handed. We find they have a great deal of success playing a two-handed forehand in a competitive setting. But that doesn't mean that we want them to just hit two-handed. We're making the adjustment so long-term they're going to have an efficient one-handed forehand. As I said earlier, it's very interesting what motivates a young player. To tell a young player like this that Nadal had a two-handed forehand until almost to the age of 12. So it's okay for Nadal, it probably is going to be okay for him. So he doesn't necessarily listen to the rationale of having a more compact swing, keeping the swing on the same side of the body, keeping the racket higher, longer, having the swing be synchronized with the body. But let's just watch a couple more hits. And certainly this is still a flawed swing. It's not perfect, but it's so much better, and he's on his way. His improvement has been very impressive but he's on his way to being a better tennis player. Let's just watch a couple from the third angle. And the expression is you can't fool a kid. When you show a kid his film like this, he's going to know that this is certainly better than what it was. It's kind of interesting to see his brother feed him the ball. Again, you don't have to have a pro feeding you a tennis ball. 